All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys and gals, and what is to be the first episode of a little series I'm calling Things I Didn't Know About C Sharp. So I'll be doing short videos focusing on some particular little feature of the language that I find to be odd, weird, or just funny, or perhaps just lesser known. And we'll be starting off by comparing events and delegates. And I thought I had delegates pretty much down, but uh, a student asked me a question and I was like, no, that's not going to work. And he said, are you sure? And I said, uh, yeah, I think so. Let's find out. And it turned out he was absolutely right. So let's have a look. Okie dokie. So let's have a look at my boomer class here. So the boomer class exposes an, a boom event based on the event handler delegate. You all know it, object event args. It has a method called start, which calls on boom three times. And that thing, all it does is fire the event. And I'm using the Elvis operator here not to not have to do an explicit null check, basically. So let's head over to the program and see what it's doing. So I'm creating an instance of Boomer, hooking up the boom event to my event handler writing out boom on the console and then basically starting. So if I run this program, we should get boom, boom, boom. So the question now is if I go into boomer here, what happens if we instead of exposing this event based on the event handler delegate, Instead of doing that, we'll just expose the delegate as a public field, something like this. So it might surprise some of you that this still compiles, it still works. So if I run it, we we'll still get boom, boom, boom. So it's interesting to note, not everyone knows that the plus equals operator is available for delegates as well. So we can do something like action A equals Let's write out something on the console and I'll do a plus equals and add a question mark here. So I have an exclamation mark and a question mark. And then let's invoke the delegate. So if I run this, I actually get the exclamation mark and the question mark. So the plus equals operator is not exclusive to events, just so we get that out of the way. Now, doing it this way with a public field, uh, we know that's disgusting, of course. Public fields are evil. But uh, let's see how it differs from events. So now that it's a public field, I can do something like this. I can go boomer, boom, and basically invoke it. So I can go and say, yeah, run that thing for me. Invoke the delegate. So now we're looking at four booms. So basically events would stop me from doing this. Event would guarantee that boom can only be raised from within the class that exposed it. I can also even scarier do stuff like boomer uh, dot boom equals null. And I just set it to a new value. And this is fine. So if I was to swap these rows, we would get an exception here on this line. So that's kind of nasty. So of course we don't want any of that. So if we go back to, to boom and just say event, it's, let's put the event keyword back, we should get compile time errors here. So they're fairly specific. The message says Boomer.boom can only appear on the left hand side of a plus equals or minus equals, except when used from within the type boomer. So those are the kinds of shenanigans that this little keyword is stopping us from. And that's basically it. That's basically everything that it's doing. Of course, it's worth to note also that events are fine in interfaces and delegates are not. So I could basically do an interface i foo and do something like event 
uh, event handler boom one, and that's fine. But I could not do something like this, just expose basically a field. Interfaces cannot contain fields. So that's another difference between events and delegates. So I hope some of you was um, found this interesting that this little keyword really does very, very little for us. Okay, so thanks guys and have a great day and I'll see you in a week with another uh, interesting little topic of something I didn't know about C Sharp. All right, have a good one.